from the very beginning to the end, they knew what they wanted to do. They knew what they were up to, you know. But the point at which we began to shout was when the committee that came from Abuja um, to come and conduct the primary election openly began to violate the rules of the game. Um, and the guidelines of the primary, partly by naming as returning officers, campaign managers, and supporters of one of the aspirants, specifically, of Mr. Bill Noye And a lot of people uh, are not getting the real issues as far as these complaints are concerned. It's not about being biased. Of course, on the eve of a governorship primary election, you would expect that majority of members of the APC in the United States would have taken position in support of one aspirant or the other. That is how it works. And that is exactly why both the constitution of our party and the guidelines for these primaries insisted on ad hoc staff being used to conduct the primary election. The only reason why you go and bring the governor of another state to preside over an election um, committee was because it is assumed that the governor of the state where the primary is to be conducted would have a position and will have a favored aspirant. Otherwise, they as well could have said, Governor Carl the Fabi should go and conduct the primaries. We all went into an election and winners and losers emerged squarely based on the level playing field. I don't think anybody will be complaining. We all accept it and will come together to work for the success of the party. Whether or not we all come together to work for the success of the party in the general election that is ahead of us will depend on how the leadership of the party manages this issue. My campaign team and I went around all the 16 local governments and all the 177 wards in Ekiti. And for the record, let me also emphasize <laughs> that this is not the first time I'm running for governorship in Ekiti State. It's actually the third time. And on every occasion, I had gone around all the wards. So, suddenly, suddenly, an aspirant who had never contested an election in the state, not even a councillorship election, not a chairmanship election in the local government, not a House of Assembly election, not a National Assembly election or governorship election. So, suddenly, an aspirant who had never contested an election and who did not do anything unusual for his campaign became more popular than a sitting senator who had contested, I mean, who was contesting government election for the third time in the state. And then he became, he suddenly became more popular than, I mean, a serving member of the House of Reps in the name of Honorable Bami Shile, who had contested governorship election twice, and who is a serving member, who had contested House of Assembly election, who had served as Speaker of the House of Assembly in the state. And the Bureau of Banji, who never contested that election, suddenly became more popular than the Kyle De Ocho who is also contesting the governorship election for the second term, and, and several others. Bambi Dele Fakbarusi had served as a member of the House of Reps. Are you saying even the people of his local government 
and the federal constituency he represented before did not vote for him. And, and to see the folly of the whole thing, 101,000 votes were allotted to Mr. Biondo Yebanji. They allotted 700 plus votes for him. I am a city senator by the grace of God who was elected by over 94,000 votes. I was elected with over 94,000 votes to go to the House, uh, to go to the Senate. And it's a record that that is the highest number of votes cast for anyone other than the governorship, I mean, candidate in this state. Anyone to whatever position other than a governorship candidate. So, if people got elected as government with 200,000 votes, hmm? a little over 200,000, and in one out of the three senatorial districts, I got 94,000 votes, does that suggest that I'm unpopular among the people? So, for some people to sit down by some method of concoction and come to a conclusion that I only deserve to have 700 plus votes written in front of my name. You want to show that they were not even smart in the way that they were carrying out their rigging. Unless it was just aimed at embarrassing us. But I'm not embarrassed. Yeah, I am. I'm not embarrassed. I'm only happy that on their own they demonstrated again the extent of impunity and perfidy that we accused them of.